Today, we're going to be unboxing and setting up the TP-Link Deco M4. The TP-Link Deco M4 is an affordable whole home mesh Wi-Fi system. Mesh Wi-Fi is a great way for full home coverage. It is easy to set up and it kills dead spots. This is the reason why I bought mine as upstairs in my apartment, there are dead spots. Last but not least, it provides seamless coverage as you move from room to room. This is a two pack and it provides wireless coverage for up to 260 meters. It costs about 90 US dollars and the three pack costs about 135 US dollars. I've put links to both in the description below. It's Ndafara from NKT Studios and on this channel we cover technical tutorials as well as software demos. Now let's get into it and start the unboxing. So it comes with a plastic covering to protect both the box and the contents. I think I need to invest in a box cutter, but for now, I'm just going to use these scissors. So just find a corner and then cut the plastic off. And then you can just rip it off. So to open the box, just put your hand on the side here like this, and then you can just open it like this. Once it's open, we're just going to do this to get out the box. To open the box, just look for the side with the flap. For me, it is this side. And as you can see, in the box we get two identical mesh routers. and they are very light to the end. We also get the power cables to power these units. A quick install guide as well as one Ethernet or LAN cable. These units have a tower style shape, as you've already seen, as well as two Ethernet ports at the back so that you can connect your wired devices. The power slot is at the bottom behind the label. And on this label, that's where you find the default SSID, which we'll use to connect to this unit. This SSID is different for each unit. At the top in the middle, we have a LED light indicator which changes colors to show the status of the unit. Let me just plug in power so that you can see it. Now that we are done with the unboxing, let's talk about setting it up. To begin the setup, we need to install the TP-Link Deco app from the App Store or Play Store. This app, that is, the TP-Link Deco app will guide us through the setup. I'm using an iPhone, so I'll just go to the App Store. If you're using an Android device, then just go to the Play Store. So once on the App Store, I'm just going to search for the TP-Link Deco app. Once I find it, I'm just going to install it. And then it will start the installation. Once the app is installed, just open it and create an account if you don't already have one. You also need to give it permissions to find devices on your network. So I'm just going to click OK here. And then I don't want any notifications from this app, so I'm just going to click on Don't Allow. And since I gave it the permissions, I'll just click on I've already given local network permission. And then take time to read the privacy policy and terms of use, and then click on Agree. I don't have an account, so I'm just going to click on Sign Up. And then I'm going to put in my email address. This email address will also be my TP-Link ID. And then my password. And then confirm the password. After that, I'll just click on sign up. At this point, they've sent an activation email to my email address. So I just need to go to my email and activate my TP-Link ID. So this is what the activation email looks like. I'm just going to click here where it says click to finish registration. 
And as you can see here, it says activation succeeded. So now I can go back to the TP-Link app and log in. Once back on the app, just click on activated and log in. And then you need to put in your password and then click on login to log in. With this, we can continue the setup. There are two ways you can set up the TP-Link Deco M4, and that is either as a router or as an access point. If you're using it as your main router, you'll just connect it straight to the internet. I will be using it as an access point, so I'll connect it on my router. So here's my router. I will now then just take the Ethernet cable and then plug it into one of the units. You can use any port here, but I've just chosen one. Once you've plugged in the Ethernet cable into your unit, then plug it in into your router. Likewise, I'm just going to use the first port. Now, once your unit is plugged into the router, you have to plug in the power. And as you can see, it's still a yellow light. As you can see, we now have a power setting blue light, which means that it has successfully started up. If you get a red light for some reason, just use the reset button at the bottom to reset the unit. Also, don't forget to take note of the SSID of this unit, as we are going to be using it right now to set it up as the main deco unit. Now let's go back to our TP-Link app to continue the setup. Once the Deco app is open, click on Let's Begin. It will then ask for Bluetooth permissions. So just click on OK. And then on the list of devices, find the Deco M4, which is the first one on the right hand side. So just select it. Once you've selected the Deco M4 from the list of devices, now just simply follow the instructions. We have already done the wiring, so we'll just click Next on these. We already have a pulsating blue light on our Deco. So just click on Deco's LED is pulsating blue. At this point, we now need to connect to that SSID for the unit that we connected to our router. So I'm just gonna go to my Wi-Fi settings and then look for the Deco Wi-Fi. The one named Deco F358, I'm just gonna select it. And once it's connected, I'm gonna go back to the app. Once back on the app, click on I have connected and then it will try to detect your Deco Mesh Wi-Fi. As you can see, it said found it and it's now connected. You will then need to select where you put it. In my case, it is the living room. So I'm just going to select the living room here. Once it has detected your internet network, it will give you the option to select the connection type. Here, just make sure that dynamic IP is selected. As you can see, dynamic IP is selected for me. Then just click next. It will then show you the set mark address page where it gives you two options. That is, keep the default MAC address, which they recommend and which they pre-select, or use the custom MAC address. I'm going to keep the default, which is keep default MAC address. And then I'm just going to click Next. And now we are ready to create our mesh Wi-Fi network. Insert your new Wi-Fi name here and also set the password. To avoid problems, use a different Wi-Fi name from the one on your old router and also make sure that your password is at least 8 characters. I'm going to name my mesh Wi-Fi Skynet and then put in the password. After that, I'm just gonna click on next. It will then start creating our new mesh Wi-Fi network. Once it's done creating the mesh Wi-Fi network, it will then ask you to connect. As you can see here, I've got my network name and password. You can also connect manually with the name and password that you would have set up. But for me, I'm just gonna click on connect to connect. If it gives you this pop-up, just click on join. And as you can see, it says connecting to Skynet. And as you can see, it was connected. And now it's testing the internet connection. And now the Deco is online. When it's done, as you can see, it will give you an option to add another Deco M4 or exit. For now, I'm just gonna click on done. And congratulations, the main unit setup is now complete. Now let's add the other Deco unit to our mesh Wi-Fi network. It's almost similar to how we added the main Deco unit with the differences being one, it will give you a placement guide and two, you won't need the SSID for this unit. 
First connect the second Deco M4 unit to power and switch it on. When you have a blinking blue light, go to the Deco app as I have and click on the plus icon at the top right. Then select Deco M4 from the list of devices. Here, it is the second one on the left. Now select the layout that looks like your home. Mine is two floors, so I'm going to select two floors here. If you've got three or more floors, you can select it here. I'm just gonna go back to two floors and then click on next. It will then ask for confirmation that the Deco's LED is pulsing blue, which is true, so I'm just gonna click on Deco's LED is pulsing blue. It then searched for the second unit and found it. And then now it's asking where it is. So this one is in my office upstairs, so I'm just gonna select office. And then as you can see, it's optimizing the network. When you get the complete page, it means that the setup is complete and you can click on I'm done for now. On the main page, you can see all the devices that are connected. If you click on the internet sign here, you should see all the decos that are connected to the mesh Wi-Fi network. And as you can see, both of them are online. So this is how you set up the TP-Link Deco M4 units. In the next videos, I'll show you the parental controls available on the Deco M4 units, how to update the firmware, as well as do speed tests. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.